I, I guess the, there's, there's a lot of things in the world today that are happening that are important um, and that deserve our attention. Uh, but um, I think it's, it's, it's always important to say what is going to be the, what's important in the long term? What are the actions that, if we don't take them today, will result in uh, quite a, a terrible future? And I think the, the you know, the, you know, t today's refugee problem uh, it, or challenge is, it is, is perhaps a, a, a small indication of what the future will be like if we do not take action with respect to climate change. Um, so. So, I mean, t today the challenge is in terms of millions of people, but in the future, uh, based on what the scientific consensus is, the, the problem will, will be in, in hundreds of millions um, and, and much more severe. So I think it's, it's very important that we, we take action today to recognize that we are making a very significant change to the chemical constituency of the atmosphere uh, and the oceans, um, and one that is almost impossible to reverse. Um, and uh, I think, you know, when we look back on on these days in the future, we want to be able to say that we, we did the actions that were, were right, the actions that that were important, because I think it's very difficult to say, you know, if you go, say, 20, 30, 40 years in the future, you know, what do you say to your kids or your grandkids? You know, it's not as though, like, the... <clears throat> I mean, it's like the, the scientists all say that these bad things are going to happen. It's like 97%. So like say, well, to your grandkids, your kids, like, well, did nobody tell you? No, it's like, no, everyone was telling us. <laughs> okay, so why didn't you do anything? What's the answer? <laughs>